Hey folks, today I'd like to show you a wicked find I had on the Facebook Marketplace the other day. I was on there looking at TVs, and I just happened to see this picture that I'm going to put on the screen right now. Now, this picture alone made me go, oh my god, I need this. So, I contacted the guy. He was a real nice guy. Had, uh, had the Odyssey and the TV since he was a kid, so seems like it was technically a one family set of uh, items here and uh, the TV oh this TV is so cool it's a 1969 mostly tube type Zenith the only thing that's not tube in this thing is the color demodulation I see and that's it so I finally have an old TV to play with and it does work as you saw in the picture um, but being that it's from 1969 <clears throat> I don't want to run it for very long, and it's going to get its own video anyway, because this thing is just so cool. But, just so you know, it does work. The one thing that did come attached to it that's relevant is this game switch, though. Look at this thing. I've never seen one this old. And, uh, yeah, the second item was the Magnavox Aussie, and the third item was the cart this TV came on and the, the TV cart itself was definitely worth the whole thing almost because you don't just you do not see these anymore at least not up here you don't not in um, East Pennsylvania but the Odyssey I think is what you guys would most be be most interested in because these things are a lot of fun the Magnavox Odyssey 2 <clears throat> was the sequel to the original Odyssey uh, that was put out in 1972 and that thing was essential was such a primitive gaming system that it used board games and TV overlays as part of how you played games. This one stepped it up. This one is an actual real game console and not just like a line generator basically. <laughs> so <clears throat> look at this logo. Magnavox. Quality in every detail. Look how cool that logo is. Oh, look how 70s this is. Ugh. This thing came out in 1978 and uh, I've never seen one in its box before so take a good look at this box here yeah look at these sports games <laughs> look at that it just speaks for itself man true reality <laughs> oh my goodness yeah, look at that. Crypto Logic, yeah. The pack in game is the one I've played before. Yeah, look at that. Just look at this box art. It's incredible for this for the seventies. Wow, is this sixties Batman or what? <laughs> Look at them, they're horrified. Ah! <laughs> My god, man. That just just looking at this box art. It's the same box art as the other side, but anyhow, let's look inside. It didn't come with any of the packaging as you can see. It did come with a bunch of games though. And those games I have in a couple of bags down here. Uh, I was told one of them is really valuable, but I don't know for sure, so I guess we'll find out. But it came with two joysticks, which both work. It came with uh, the Odyssey The Voice, which is a voice synthesis module. And I think the pack and game works with that. I, I forget which one we tested. The Seller and I actually played this Magnavox Odyssey on this old TV to test it out and figure out which game. Uh, had the voice module, and we got there, and I was so bad at the game that within two seconds, the voice module went, oh, no. <laughs> so, oh, man. But look at look at the Odyssey. It's, it's a little bit dirty, and it's got some tape and stuff on it, but otherwise, it's in beautiful shape. So, I'm going to take it out of its, uh, I should take it out of its box so we can look at it, and we'll hook it up and everything as well. Alright, now let's take a look at some of the games I got with this system. I got this computer intro cartridge, which doesn't work, unfortunately. I think it's really dirty. Probably need to open this thing up somehow and uh, clean it out. I would guess that it's disgusting inside. 
Casey's Crazy Chase. This is a Pac-Man clone, and it works with the voice synthesis module, which is pretty cool. Football. Honest to goodness, football. No coach, no year, not named after a player's pet goldfish, just football. <laughs> It's not very good. Most of these early sports games weren't that great. This is my favorite game on this system so far, and this is P.T. Barnum's Acrobats. It reminds me a lot of Circus Atari. It's very fun. You can see by the screenshots, it's kind of similar. Very cool game. Pickaxe Pete is pretty cool, too, uh, although it's a hard game kind of Donkey Kong-ish. You climb up to the top, you get the key, you come back down, and you leave, I think, is how that game works. The excitement of a game, the mind of a computer. Oh, it's high-tech. It's 70s. Keyboard creations. As you'll see, I popped this game in and um, didn't really understand what was going on. Games. V video titles. Messages. Yeah, I don't know. I guess you could use this to create titles for video when you were recording it off the TV or something. This cost twenty two ninety five when it was new. Jeez. Not worth it, man. Alien Invaders Plus. This is basically a clone of Space Invaders uh, that's a little bit weird. Kind of fun, but not as good as the original or Galaga or Galaxians or anything like that. And here's the pack-in game. Speedway, spin out, and crypto logic. It's a triple cartridge. Yeah, this explains itself once you actually see it in action. And here I have a box for a game that the seller couldn't find. And this is Monkey Shines. Which to me looks kind of like a maze or pack manage or something. I don't know, it's a puzzle game. I know that much because it says so. But uh, maybe I'll find this game someday. Uh, I'll see if I can find some screenshots of it and uh, stick it up on screen right now. And then hopefully you get an idea of what this game actually is. Because unfortunately I couldn't demonstrate it since I don't have the cartridge. Must have got lost over time since they've had this since the 70s. Got a few manuals as well. The keyboard is the key. Ooh, Look at that. And pause to read that. Choose from a wide variety of action-packed sports, exciting arcade, challenging educational, and competitive challenger. All the new, intriguing Master Strategy Series games. Man, they are really hyping this thing up. When you buy the Odyssey 2, you get the excitement of a game, the mind of a computer, and all these features. Yeah, it's kind of it's like how the VIC-20... Uh, marketed ex itself in 1980 later on, two years later. There's the voice module. Voice and keyboard games. M math. Spelling, math, type, and tell. Wow. Very educational. There's a screenshot of the football game, which I didn't demonstrate because it's boring. Oh man, there's some other sports games. Bowling would have been awesome, dude. I would have loved bowling. Basketball. Uh, I'm not sure if V Westlife demonstrated that or not. You might want to go check out his channel, because he did a video on the Odyssey too as well. And it might have um, it might have some of these other games demonstrated. I can't quite remember. It's been a while since I've seen the videos. Computer golf. <laughs> That's super 70s, man. Oh, look at that. Oh. Alpine skiing, hockey, soccer, volleyball. It's all sports games. Electronic table soccer. Yeah, foosball. Woohoo! <laughs> Pocket billiards. Okay, this probably would have been fun. Invite your friends over and play some uh, pocket billiards in your tiny apartment because you don't have room for a real one. Blackjack. Can't go wrong with that. Armed encounter. Looks like a tank game. That's cool. Sub Chase, another submarine game. Now we're getting to like the war games and stuff. Cosmic Conflict. Cosmic, man. Take the money and run. 
How bizarre, man. <laughs> Invaders from hyperspace. Ooh, hyper. Thunderball. This is not a James Bond movie. <laughs> I wonder if it's based on the movie. I doubt it. Nah, it's pinball. <laughs> Showdown in 2100 AD. Really? Just looks like some cowboys, man. Oh, it actually refers to this as a shoot 'em up game. I wonder if that was the first time anybody said that. War of Nerves. Out of this world. Helicopter rescue. Pachinko, hey! Pachinko is great. Casino slot machines. Block out, break down. Alien Invaders Plus. There's one we have. Matha Magic and Echo. Ooh, educational games. Okay, here's what computer intro looks like since that cartridge didn't work. Hmm. So that's an educational game. Matchmaker, Buzzword, and Logics. So a lot of edutainment stuff was on this particular system. So I could imagine it being used in, like, early childhood and schools and stuff. I've got your number. Dynasty. Speedway, Spin Out, Crypto Logic. There you go. So the packing game had arcade sports and educational. I don't know how educational a word scramble is, but, yeah. UFO. Freedom Fighters. Monkey Shines. Pickaxe Pete. <laughs> Quest for the Rings. Hmm. Yeah, looks like a Lord of the Rings kind of thing. That's cool. Conquest of the World. Ooh. Wall Street Fortune Hunt. Oh, my God. A ma this is a master strategy game. Yeah. There's the box for it. I do have it, and we did demonstrate it later on, so you get to see what it looks like when you first turn it on and realize you don't know what the hell is going on. Wait until you see it. Oh, good. There's just like a whole selection of games here. Man, that brochure was packed full of stuff. Here's the computer intro uh, manual. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, I can't even get the cartridge to work, so... I don't really know. It's educational. It's boring. Whatever. Owner's manual. Congratulations! Oh my god. I love it. Oh yeah. That game switch I got with it is original. Yep, it looks exactly the same as in the manual. I think that's the real thing. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing to do but just plug in the uh, power cable and the RF jack. Push in firmly. Look at this kid. She's horrified. <laughs> wow. Well, I might as well show you the box for Wall Street Fortune Hunt. I still can't believe they made a game like this. Like, what kid wants to play a game where they where they that's about ta taxes or stocks or politics or well money I guess I could see but this is the this is like the stock market what kid is interested in the stock market this looks like something you that a bunch of finance bros in the 70s would have played over a bunch of glasses of wine or a bunch of beer or something and it actually has like chips and things like that they never opened this or did they? No, they did. I don't know what these are for. 
It comes with like board game stuff. It's very, very odd. It also comes with the cartridge. This thing's in very good shape. Might be worth something, I don't know. But, um, it looks like a game that would just not be that much fun to play. Wait until you see it running. Like, the minute you start it up, you have no clue what's going on. It's just like, ooh, ooh, the stock market on TV. <laughs> like, yeah. So that's that's all the games, and the, or at least all the software, I should say, that came with it. So let's move on to the demonstration. Okay, and on to the games. We're going to be demonstrating these on this newer color TV rather than the older one, just because I don't want to run the older one for very long with its old capacitors. So we'll be using my much newer 2004 color TV. And I have the Odyssey hooked up to that. And I think the first thing we should take a look at is the pack-in game. If you wanted a good example of what video games looked like in the 70s, the Atari 2600 is always sort of my go-to example. Like, go play a game on there. Go play, like, Yars Revenge or something. Although I think that might be from the early 80s. I'm not sure. But anyhow, these games are from the 70s. This, this particular game is Speedway, Spin Out, and Cryptologic, which was the pack-in game with the Magnavox Odyssey 2. So... Check it out. Okay. Let's take a look at this game. This is the packing game. And when you select, when it says select a game, you actually have to look on the cartridge label and look at what buttons you need to press on the keyboard. So for this game, for example, I want to do Speedway, so I press 1. And then I press 1 again for the skill level, and I use joystick number 2 for some reason, the right joystick for this game. And do absolutely horrible at this game. So very simplistic gameplay. The faster it is, the harder it is because it's a pattern. This is basically traffic on the fr on the uh, on the interstate. <laughs> So, you know, games sim that are this simple are basically what the 70s was all about. You hit the reset button there, and I'll go to Spin Out, which is another racing game. What do you know? <laughs> this is a two-player game, but you can see I'm controlling this guy here. and you just make it to the finish line. Does the button do anything? The button speeds you up. Okay. Can I crash into the other person? Yep. So you can spin out the other player. I have no insurance. <laughs> yeah, this one's just kind of a game you play with your friends. And then, of course, Crypto Logic is... Uh, is a word game. This really shows how 70s this is. Now I guess what you do is you type a word in on the keyboard. So I'll type in Here's a word we all know. I'll hit the I'll hit the enter button. Camcorder batteries died. Now we're back. So then you'd have this on the screen, and then it would be the other person's job to descramble it. And I, I think there are ways to even scramble it more. I don't know. Yeah, so you get that right. And you get a point. So it's this, this was kind of like a family board game on a TV, in a way. You know, a bit like Scrabble or something like that. So very 70s way of doing things. Now let me see if I can get the computer intro cartridge to work this time. I think it's dirty, so it really doesn't do anything. Yeah, I just get this garbled crap that doesn't do, doesn't really work. It's kind of the same reaction when you have nothing plugged in. Although it just looks like that. So yeah, there's something wrong with that one. Um, here's another classic for the Odyssey 2 called Pickaxe Pete. Boop. 
I thought this one had the voice module going for it, but it doesn't, apparently. So, look at that. So it's kind of Donkey Kong-ish in a way. Oh, I got a key. Yay, I got a key. I don't know what the key does. Oh. <laughs> I died without even realizing it. These old games move fast. You know, I think those doors are supposed to be, uh... That's another classic there. I don't really know how to play it, but it's a classic. What else we got? Ah, here we go. Here is a space, here's the Space Invaders clone called Alien Invaders. Alien Invaders Plus. To, uh... Oh, gotta use the other joystick. Oh no! Ah! I'm a little rusty at Space Invaders, it's been a while. But you can see how simplified this version is. screwed. Ah. Ah. And that's Alien Invaders for you. It's a very, very simplified version of uh, Space Invaders. This is a good example of like an early 80s kind of video game. This is one of those where you have to wait for your projectile to go all the way across the screen before firing another one. Oh my god. So bad. These old games are these old games are so fast. I just don't have the reaction time anymore. Now here's an example of a game that has the voice synthesis module. This is a Pac-Man clone called Casey's Crazy Chase. And you'll hear the uh, voice, I'll turn the voice synthesis up so you hear it. Alright, we'll do zero. Up, oh, wrong house. Oh no! <laughs> that oh no is exa no. that oh no is exactly what I heard I when we were testing the TV. Oh no! is exactly what I heard when we were testing this on the big TV at the seller's house. It was hilarious. It's a very, bi out. very bizarre Pac-Man kind of clone. Watch out. Oh, no. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I think, I, think the ob I think the object is to eat all the trees and avoid the caterpillar. It's like a kidified version of this. I think I'm Run. getting it. Watch out. I think I'm getting it. Watch out. Ouch. Oh no. Oh man. This is a hard game. Go. Watch out. Hurry. 
I'm not a Pac-Man connoisseur, so... Oh no! 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 Hurry! Watch out! I'm trying, man. This one's actually really fun. That's a that's an example of what the voice synthesis sounds like. Oh no! <laughs> that's fantastic. Another game I found that does work with uh, this is P.T. Barnum's Acrobats. Now that doesn't date this game. I don't know what else does. P.T. Barnum, man. This game's from like 1982 or so. So I don't know how to play this one at all. So. Let's give it a try. I guess I'll choose uh, zero. Look out! How do you play this game? Other, Hurry. Jo other joystick. Count turkey. Let's try it again. Oh. This is kind of cool. It's a bit it reminds me a little bit of Circus Atari, actually. effects they've been they have in this. Oh no. Oh no. This almost the the the, the, the chip in this almost sounds like a speaking spell. Is, um, that is P.T. Barnum's Acrobats. That's a pretty fun game, actually. I like that one a lot. Now, there's one game I don't have, but I do have the box for, and that's a game called Monkey Shines, which to me looks kind of Pac-Man-ish, sort of. I don't know. It's hard to tell by the screenshots on the box. Now, this one is called Keyboard Creations, which I assume is a very early game for this. I'm going to type in potato and see what happens. What? I'm confused. I, what even is this? Too boring. And then there's this other game called Wall Street Fortune Hunt, which is in this big, like, fancy box. And I, I think of AVGN when I see this. Why well, make a game with stocks or taxes or politics? Like, they didn't understand that in the early video game era. Let's see what the game does. You actually get buzz. Did you hear that buzzing from the? Uh, did you hear that buzzing from the uh, the voice synthesis module? Went eh eh. Let's see if I can get it to go again. God, this is this this is like a game for. 70s game for finance bros or something. <laughs> I 
Oh man, why why would they make a game like that? Wall Street Fortune Hunt. I mean, this game being in a fancy box might mean that it's actually kind of valuable, but who'd want to play that? Oh my god. Definitely a game for 70s finance bros. For sure. And uh, that's about all the games I can demonstrate, really, but that gives you a good idea of what the Mega Box Odyssey 2 was. It was kind of it was kind of on the same level as the Atari 2600, you know, very primitive. Uh, they didn't really have an idea of what a video game was supposed to be yet, as you can see by that Wall Street game. Ugh. So, there's there's a demonstration for you. Here's a demonstration of the voice synthesis module on its own. Very, very kind of speak and spell sample kind of voices come out of this thing. So, yeah, it sounds kind of like every other voice synthesis module did on things like the, I guess, the ColecoVision and the Intellivision. B-17 Bomber, <laughs> you know, things like that. So, had that same sort of, like, weird blocky voice quality. But there you go. That's a demonstration of the Magnavox Odyssey 2 with its voice synthesis module. It's a pretty. It has some pretty fun games. Like I think my favorite is this P.T. Barnum's Acrobats game. This that was very fun. Reminded me a lot of Circus Atari. So any game that's sort of like an Atari game seems to be good. <laughs> what does that tell you? Probably not very much in favor of the Odyssey. But you know what? This was 1978. It was early, so you got to give it a little bit of credit for trying. But yeah, there you have it. Um, that was a demonstration of the Magnavox Odyssey 2 with its voice synthesis module. There will be a separate video entirely on this Zenith TV. Um, so, I, when I get around to restoring, there, I'm going to demonstrate it before I restore it at some point. So, there will, there will at least be uh, just a video looking at the TV. Act, actual restoring and changing the capacitors and whatever, that'll be a, a project for possibly years down the road um, because just getting a hold of one of these in my area is hard enough as it is but um, yeah I'll make a separate video about this TV but I was most excited about the Odyssey and I thought uh, you guys would be too so if you want to reach me on social media check out my Twitter below and you can also check out our discord server below as well if you if you guys want a place to hang out and talk so yeah there you have it uh, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.